but the wood factory is almost ready. There we go. Gonna turn the automaton off for this area. Put it on for here. Give it to this place. Bump the temperature up. Yeah! Perfect! Waves done up while playing into the gungeon. <laughs> Dag, I've got you all on that into the gungeon, I see, uh, Nine Demons. I like it. I like it a lot. By the way, how did Dagum's uh, run go? Or how were they going when you had it when you left? Out of curiosity. Oh, we just don't have enough people. That's the problem right now. The heaters are almost done being researched, though, which is really good. All right, the automaton's gonna come back, and make more coal. We should be fine. Steam hub is researched. Yes. So I believe these only take steel, but they take a lot of steel. Twenty steel each. So we need to place these wisely. Oh, they're so. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Um. I did not realize there's so little. We need to do a range upgrade on these things pretty soon, then probably. It's just the right distance, so level one can't hit more. It cannot hit more than one, uh, one building. Oh, that sucks. Okay, let's do one. I think right here. Yeah, this will warm the coal factory up, the research facility up, and the place we're currently doing. One second, guys. I. I have to sneeze. Excuse me! Excuse me, he was going good. He was on level two when I left. Okay, very good. He's taking it pretty slow, it sounds like. What's the end game in this game? There are three different end games. Uh, the end game of the first game, the first section, the first scenario is a massive storm that drops the temperature by like a hundred percent. I think it gets a negative 150 degrees Celsius and just kills everybody if you're not fully prepared. Uh, and the the end game is to survive that storm. The end game for this one is also a storm, but you have to keep these. <clears throat> the goal is to keep these seedlings alive. They're the last seedlings uh, of a, of all kinds of tropical plants uh, in the world, I believe. And so your job is to keep them keep them safe, keep them safe and sound. Alright, let's put one here. I guess just put another one right here and start building stuff back there. I think that might be the best choice. Or we could put one over here. That actually might be better. Gotta save those coconuts and the corn and the uh, soy. <laughs> and whatever else, yeah, yes, you do. You gotta save those coconuts. It is, I. It is important, ideally. Even. All right, so this is the closest we can we can be away from this one. Let's go ahead and put this one here, and then we're gonna have to build two more heaters. One for this one, and one for this one. Uh, those will be our our next objectives. Let's go ahead and start researching. Uh, our generator power upgrade. Um, I think that is the obvious next step. Hmm. Or we could do bunk houses to people keep people from getting sick. Or scouts, maybe. Or an additional scout team at the beacon. Nah, we can't do that. Though they are going to bring back some really cool stuff. So let's just go ahead and get the, uh, the thing. Actually, Steelworks probably, let's do Steelworks. That's probably the way to go, to be completely honest. Uh, we, we're going to really need more and more steel as we... As we progress through here, a lot more because we got, we're already getting uh, we're already getting kind of put behind on the steel we have. All right, let's go and speed things up. Unpause it. Let's give this a go. Let's give this a go. Our automaton is working. We already have another automaton coming, and I believe we have two more steam cores and a factory. 
Uh, I think these guys, the automatons basically just had to be running almost everything in the city by the time the storm hits. I believe that is the goal of this. Not entirely certain, though. Yeah, so this guy has four steam cores, 100 wood, 50 coal, 128 steel, and one... Oh, the, and the factory plans. And then, obviously, a full-sized operational automaton is coming as well. This should work fantastically. We are looking like we're in pretty good shape. Their discontent is pretty low. Um, how much does it cost to build another medical bay? 25 wood. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and build another it's medical bay. Time. Build it right there. Uh, we already need some more workers to go to actually work at them, which is... A little problematic, but uh, so that'll be that'll be built. Let's go ahead and the discontent's gonna rise a lot, but let's go ahead and get an emergency shift in. We can lower that discontent later on. So we're just gonna let these guys research all night long, essentially. Uh, we're gonna get steel works done. Uh, that means we'll have plentiful steel pretty soon. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this road all the way out of the steel built. You can see them doing it right here. Pretty cool, actually. The way the animations of this game are really well done, from what, from what I've seen. I, I really enjoy them. You, each each individual person is named, and you can see where they're working and how, at what risk they are of getting sick. It's pretty damn awesome. All right, so Steelworks is researched. I believe it takes 25 wood something along those. Uh, Sniper 420. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let's go ahead and get a steelworks made. This could be really useful. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, only, actually, this this one doesn't even cost. Uh, <laughs> this one doesn't even cost any uh, steam cores. I was actually expecting it to. Yeah, we have plenty of steam cores coming, so even if it did, we would be okay, but we're fine. Doug says one Tringle. Not even Trongle, Tringle. Chris, Chris Tringle. That's uh, my full name. I bring presents to children on one of the end days of December. What about do you like Fortnite? I personally do not play Fortnite. It is not really my style of game. I don't play a lot of heavily multiplayer games, and I mostly play first-person shooters that are single-player, um, but if I were to play it, I probably would at least enjoy it. Uh, great, I don't like Fortnite. <laughs> well, more power to you. You are welcome to like whatever game you'd like, and you are welcome to dislike whatever game you like. You, you don't like. <laughs> By the way, Dugs, how are you tonight, my friend? Welcome back in. To the land of dying of frostbite. We're here. The promised land. <laughs> I like you even more, dude. <laughs> Why, thank you, Docs. I like you even more as well, man. <laughs> no gay, it's okay if it was gay. Either way, my friend, I like you as well. <laughs> All right, so this is actually coming together fairly well. Our discontent is decently low. Uh, there's a lack of medical care, as you can see, there's four people. Frenemy? Frenemy. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's right. Wait, who is the enemy of your enemy? The one who... Is your... Oh, your enemy is Fortnite, and you're saying I'm the enemy of Fortnite? I don't want... I want to go that far. I appreciate Fortnite for what it is. It's just not my thing. You know what I mean? Let's make some soup. It's going to raise get discontent. Uh, I would like to have more people making wood. Uh, although we act God, we just don't. We need this automaton pretty pretty soon, I believe. Oh, do we not have a research project? Oh, we need ten steel and twenty wood. Yikes. Okay. We're also starting to run low on coal again, which is very problematic. Oh, it's starting to get a little rough, chat. Things are starting to go downhill a little bit. Yeah, me too. I tried Fortnite as well, and you did not enjoy it when you tried it. I feel you, dude. I actually have never even tried it. I played about 50 hours of PUBG back in the day and enjoyed it to an extent, uh, but it's all those games are also, I feel like, much more fun when you play them with friends, and since most of my streams are solo streams, uh, having to play the least fun version of those games is a little, a little lame sometimes. Oh 
my, oh me. Okay, um... But it sucks to be forcing these people to work overtime. They don't even have the resources to... To get, to get them to actually work. It's kind of lame. Alright, let's go have our automaton make stuff. We're gonna wait for, to do this. Oh, there it is. Okay, so how close is our automaton to our new automaton from getting here? Two hours. Okay, so it's gonna get here tonight. We'll have the the new automaton probably work the steel mill. Uh, we'll have people doing coal, I think, all day long, and then we'll have the other automaton work the work the wood plant. Whoa! Chat! It's a it's a hacker. Holy shit! Oh my god! Did you? Ha! <laughs> Ban it! <laughs> it's a wall hack. Look at that. Just right. That's actually the first bug I've seen in the game so far. Actually, that's not true. We had one earlier where it uh, left people hungry even though they weren't hungry. The Chinese? <laughs> I don't know who it is. I say it's the Canadians. I don't, think, I don't think Canadians are the normal meme for people who hack regularly, but we're going to go with that. Or maybe it's the, uh, the, the Americans. Whoa, look how it just fit right in there. That's pretty damn cool. It is cool how they just designed them to all fit right in here. I do like that. Oh, yes, the new automaton is here. Where is it going to come from? There it is. Sir, an automaton has reached our city. It's fully operational and ready for work. Cool. Good. I, we, we need to do work, so that's fantastic. Where is it? Get over here, Tomaton. I just sent it right over to the steel mill. That should be good. Make 2.4 steel an hour. Eventually, we'll upgrade this with some more steam cores to a uh, better mill. Sometimes I wonder what the purpose of our struggle is. What is, uh, what's wrong with this one? Three workers on this shift. All right, where is everyone working? We want to get people working. We want to stop people from working in the cold. The only real place that's extremely cold, I believe, is... Oh, huh, these are actually pretty cold as well. Oh, we need to turn off the medical facility here. China number one, I agree. China number one. Definitely doesn't know those people. That's absolutely true. Uh, scouts number one have returned safely to the city. Hurry, get four steam cores, plenty of wood, and this should allow us to go ahead and uh, build one more thing and have the automaton... Oh, he didn't bring, he brought a factory, that's right. All right, so let's go ahead and add new research. We're gonna do a generator power upgrade. That's gonna be the first thing we do. Um, all right, it is. During the day now. This wall drill is really cool. I, I think that's, a, that's one of my favorite contraptions in the game at this point. I just really like how they operate. So we're gonna have uh, people working at the wall drill again. Oh, that's the other thing we need. We have enough steel now to make the rest of the steam hubs we uh, want operational. Let's do one right here. Already have one on this factory. Already have one on this factory. So let's do one more right here. Let's see. I think that should be it. We're never gonna we're gonna have a robot working this this steel mill all the time, so we don't even have to worry about heating that one. We're just gonna leave one on that all of the time. Oops, bottom mic. Sorry about that, guys. And um, I think we should be good with that. Uh, the next step is gonna be able to is gonna be raising the temperature of this and working on efficiency of all of our things, all of our projects. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. Now, actually, we might already have, yeah, we already have the blueprint just straight up for the factory. So let's go ahead and put this. We want the factory in a heated zone. So maybe right here. Though these, this is gonna be our housing district. I don't really know how many more people we're gonna get. Uh, I think maybe we go ahead and do this. We're also gonna wanna invest in factory efficiency pretty soon down the road and better houses. Uh, those are the two things that I feel like we didn't really get last time. Hacker located! <laughs> we found him! Nine demons. Thank you for getting us proof of that. 
I figure out where do we where where do we optimally want this? Actually, you know what? We have a heater out here. Let's go ahead and put it in this district right there. This this will work well, I think. This will be kind of cool. All right, our dude is waiting uh, to be sent back out. We have two areas we can send him. We can send him to the industrial ruins, or we can send him to the mountainside cave. Industrial ruins sounds much better for us. Um, and then we can send him to the stone ship as well. Let's go ahead and do that. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, they, the main squeeze so far of this of this game has really been the amount of people we have. You made a funny clip, you did! Go post it in Discord. I'd love to watch it later on, my man. Hacker has been located. Actually, that's a, maybe we'll put that one on Twitter. I like putting our the bugs we run into uh, on Twitter. <sighs> oh yeah, that's. I think that one's going. <laughs> I think that one's going on Twitter. That's a good one. I like it, Night Demons. Go post it on the Discord if you don't mind. For me, I would appreciate that. Oh, I forgot the fact the factory ha holds. Oh no, it only holds five workers. That's right. I remember. All right, why is this at zero percent efficiency? Three workers on this shift absent. One of three. One employee delivers thirty percent base efficiency to zero. Why is there no one working here? I don't. I don't understand that. Take everyone off of that one. And just max that out. That way we can get rid of some of the sick people. That would be great. Uh, where are people working? Hopefully, no one is working in the snow anymore. Yeah, so we should be good. Nice! Alright. What's our coal looking like? Oh, we are running out of coal slowly. Um, there is an automaton working here. It's currently refueling. I think we're going to go ahead and build another gathering post. Let's put it right here. Let's put that one right there. Nice. I just love it at the end. Ban it. Get rid of it. <laughs> we must take it down before it takes us down. Storage ri limit. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. So we only have two automatons right now, I believe. Uh, let's see how the suit boys are doing. I'm gonna add some more people to work there. In an hour. The nice thing about low people is you don't have to worry about food very much. Uh, we are not getting any uh, over storage. Or we're not getting any backlog uh, storage of actual food, though, which worries me a little bit. Especially if we take on anybody else, we're going to have a lot of trouble. So. What are we currently researching? Generate. Okay, perfect. This is actually very good. Jasper, you cheater! Taking your free tokens. Take them and be away with it. Do away with it. I should say. Okay, medical efficiency, good. Medical efficiency, good. Seedling arc is doing very well. Very hot. Good stuff. I don't know why this one is comfortable, but these are not. That doesn't really make any sense to me. Oh, maybe this one... Oh, that one hasn't been built yet. That all makes sense. It all makes sense. Two cans! <laughs> Two cans indeed. So as soon as we research... Oops. As soon as we research... Someone's mad! Fundamental research. Automaton project. Certain engineers is asking for day out to study automaton closely. So we've already gotten this event. And we, I, think, I think I know what is going to happen. Um, sure to learn about how to make them better. If we take a closer look at the, any machine, I can adjust it to improve its performance. It should be... Why should it be any different with them? Ah, uh, get back to work. Last time he wasted a steam core, and we don't have steam cores to waste this time. Uh, so we're gonna, we're, we're just gonna force him to keep on working. What is this? Oh, it's a yeah, I see. So all four of these should be fine now. Nine demons, enjoy your time in the Ban Oasis, my friend. I'll see you when you get back. All right. 
Uh... Okay, so this is almost done researching. Let's see what we're gonna research when we get, when we finish this. We don't want a range upgrade. I think we might actually go ahead and get bunk houses. Or the medical post upgrade. We have ten percent. Yeah, uh, we're gonna probably get these two and then work on uh, number two. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and get bunk houses first. I think it'll prevent people from getting sick. A lot more. Although, maybe we need more efficient. General upgrade one has been researched. Uh, no, no, no. We're gonna leave that at one for now. Just for now. We don't want to use too much coal. I, I wish it didn't automatically put it up whenever you, whenever you took it up. Uh, these new workers here at the new gathering plant should, I believe, uh, relieve of our, uh, relieve us of our coal shortage because we are running out of coal slowly. They should put us back on the upswing. I think our next research project needs to be the coal mine, not houses. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> All right, the suit boys are doing their job, slowly but surely, they're doing their job. Bad food, emergency shift one, so it's temporary. The only thing that's making the discontent go up right now is bad food, which is okay. We are absolutely fine with that. Uh, is there any other adaptations we want to go ahead and make before a cause by deaths is halved? Uh, no one has really died yet, but we may actually want to do this. The frozen hell. So this extended shift thing is really bad. Uh, it, it makes it makes people have a lot more discontent. I really don't want to do any of these other things. Maybe we can do extra rations for the ill, new extra rations to medical facilities to speed up recoveries. That could be cool. It's, it's a toggleable. Let's go ahead and sign that. That sounds that sounds cool. That sounds very fun. If we ever have any extra rations, we'll just use that. A humane measure, but it is prudent in our current situation. Helping the sick, I'm in favor, as long as we can afford it. All right, <laughs> you fools. <laughs> People are so stingy when their lives are on the line. Imagine that. Imagine that. All right, so these two have heaters built. And this last one is going to be the last unit we built. So we should be okay, I think, here. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing very well, actually. Uh, we got a continual source of steel going, which is really what we need. Hey, Dr. Wafers, how's it going, my friend? Welcome back in. It's off time. Off time, that's okay. It's fine. Our automaton will continue hauling steel overnight. This is not being built, but I believe all these construction products projects will get built during the off time. I think that will be that'll work very well. Wait a second, is there not a road right here? Oh, there is. For some reason, that road is covered by snow. It's very strange. Very strange indeed. How are the car sales going, Doctor Wavers? All right, our automaton's going to refuel. Oh, actually, no, it's going to construct these things, which is honestly pretty good. Oh, we can finally make a resource depot. Let's do that. Um, resource depot does not need to be heated in any sense of the word. Damn, I, thought, I really wish it could fit right there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and build those, spend some resources to have some extra stock room when we need it later on. Uh, we're gonna put one, assign one of those to extra coal, even though we're not making any extra coal right now. And then we're gonna assign one of those to probably extra food. I would love to get enough food uh, to have a big stock up of it. I think that would be really great. That would be really great. All right, let me drink some water so I stay hydrated, you fools. All right, here's our new gathering room. Uh, to gather more and more coal. Uh, we have such a low amount of uh, workers. It kind of sucks. 
But where is our factory? That's oh, it's right here. Wait, that's actually outside the range of the heat? It better not be. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, perfect. So as soon as this factory is built, we are probably going to start working on uh, building another automaton. That'll put us up to three automatons, and they are unbelievably useful. Uh, really optimizes the process of... Just everything, literally everything. Okay. The coal mine's over here, so we're gonna go ahead and put a road out here preemptively. Spend some wood, but that's okay. How is this game? It is really fun. Much more fun than most survival uh, city building simulators I've played. Uh, I really like that there's like an end to it. I like the, all the ups and downs, the writing. The mechanics of the RPG upgrade mechanics, uh, the the emphasis on cold and darkness and survival, it's uh, it's been really good so far. I've been enjoying it way more than I thought than I thought it would. We actually did an eight-hour stream last night just to try and beat our first playthrough, and uh, we had so much fun with it, so much fun with it. So yes, it does look dope. It looks very dope. Uh, I I highly recommend it. And not only that, but the devs claim they're going to add more and more content as it goes forward. Did you win? We did win! We got our first win in! We had a lot of people die. A lot of people die. Uh, but luckily, <laughs> they uh, they made it through. They made it through. This one is a different scenario where we we're having to save these plants, so we had to be a little more careful with our heating, I think. And we actually know what we're doing here, so it, this one's going a lot better. A lot less discontent. A lot less promises made that we can't keep. To save this patient's life, we had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. We must do something about it. Consider assigning a care house or a prosthetics law. What is the prosthetics law? I actually forgot about this. Care house. Build a care house. What is... I think it just gives us the uh, an, a way to make prosthetics. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. That's fine. We'll... I see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Gotta let these amputees live. Gotta do it. Rest in peace, indeed. Yeah, we lost like 150 people last night. It was crazy. The very ending was really rough on us, but that's okay. Alright, so we're gonna make a care house for these people. We shouldn't have the resources to go ahead and do it. We do need to, make, to get some people to work here, but I have no idea where we're gonna get the workers from. We were, we're spread really thin right now. I think we're probably going to have to take some researchers uh, and get them to do it. At least a couple. Wait, what? Where did I put these guys? No, no, no. We'll take them back from here. Two available there. We need to keep producing wood, so we can't have these guys work on wood. So, uh, the main goal of this one is... Uh, Really, that you need to build the Tomadon, so I think this is why they're squeezing us so much on on uh, on people. We have no workforce because we need to be building these automatons. A <laughs> hundred people died. Whatever. That's exactly right, to be. That's exactly right. If only we had the Gauntlet of Thanos to destroy, destroy our enemies, and heat our way through the cold. Life would be good. Wait, what is this? Oh, oh, it's not next to a uh, road. Huh, I did not realize that. All right, so we, <laughs> unfortunately we're still running low on coal. We do have plenty of steel though, I think. So let's make, it, let's maybe go, get this guy to get wood, to make wood for us overnight, and then put five of these people over here. Yeah, that'll work. We really need to get another time. Oh, there it is. Okay, our oh, we have no people. We have no people. Right, let's have all of these these medical bay. Wait, can we even do that? No, we cannot. That's gonna be really bad. Let's leave that one operational and have some of them come over here and work. Uh, and then let's go ahead and queue up an automaton. Two automatons, in fact. So we need to get a hundred wood. Let's actually look real quick. We need a hundred wood. 100 steel, the coal is not going to be a huge problem, I don't think, and one steam core. We have all those resources, we're just going to, well, we don't, the only ones we don't have are the 100 steel and 100 wood. But as soon as we get those, uh, we will. 100 people died? 
Yeah, towards the end. We already had about like 50 people die on top of that, so. Thus is life, thus is life. 